Okay, here's what I've done so far. Uh, I have cut out this part here. What I did is I um, used a piece of cardboard and then just drew where I wanted to um, cut out with the pencil. Basically penciled it out and then uh, took a pair of scissors and cut it out. Okay. Uh, so, and then uh, I cut out a piece on this. You can use any plastic you want. I just had an old umbrella that had fallen apart, but the plastic was still good. I cut out a square piece bigger so that I have enough to work with. And uh, let me show you real quick. Hold on, I'll come back in a second. So there is the. Uh, that's a similar umbrella to what fell apart, but it was clear. You can see there. Sorry about the mess on the floor. This is just uh, my sewing area. <laughs> I just threw all of the stuff on the floor when I'm sewing. So I'm going to use this um, edge in here and just put it on. Uh, right here, so I don't have to make my own. I might as well just reuse what I have instead of going to all the trouble of making something. Anyways, I'll come back in a minute. Okay, let me show you what I've done. I have cut uh, pieces, and I have uh, see the edging of the umbrella. I've cut pieces and I have it matches the edging on the stroller. Now I have taken Fabric Fuse E6000 and hold on, I have run it along where am I? The edge. Okay. And then I put it down right here. So after that side dries, I'm going to fold this. I'm going to cut right here and on the other end. And then I'm going to fold this plastic under and fabric fuse that under the other side. So that this never comes unraveled. And then I have a nice edge on the top. Okay, that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing next when I'm done. With it, I'll come back. I'll come back and show you. Uh, I'll get the tripod. Come back and show you how I did it. Okay, let me show you here. I'm gonna run the glue. Along here, a decent fair amount. Not too much, but enough. And this is Fabric Fuse E6000. Love this stuff. Oh, you know, sometimes at first, at first it seems like it's not fusing the fabric together, but it always does if you pin it or hold it down. And when it dries, trust me, it will fuse. And it works really well. And then just lays down like that. Okay. Okay, so here's what it looks like. And putting this edging on helped a lot because it was sagging right there. And so when it's all dry, uh, I will come back. I cut the edges uh, underneath on these corners and then I'll cut these these ones after it dries and then I'll come back and tuck it under and fabric fuse it underneath and then uh, go from there. Okay, I'm going to show that what I'm doing is now putting glue um, up under this flap here. Right here. 
right here. I'm still using the fabric views uh, E6000. And then I'm going and folding it under and then pinning it so it will dry like that. Okay. Just like that. Uh oh, my dog might start barking. There's some kid drama going on in the neighborhood here. <laughs> drama, drama, drama with kids. Alright, so that's what the edging looks like now. So we'll let that dry and we'll be back. Okay, now the piece of plastic that I'm going to use for the window. Sorry, I'm holding the camera here. I'm going to put edge pieces on it too. And I cut the pieces off of the, the umbrella edge just like I did uh, <clears throat> to do the edging in the window that I cut out on the or on the stroller. And then I'm going to fuse it again with the fabric fuse and this edging right here as you can see. And then I pinned it so it would stay use that. So I'm just going to do one um, piece at a time. And so it has a nice edge. And um, the next step I'll show you the next step. So yeah, I'm just cutting the outer layer of the umbrella. These pieces to add to the plastic piece. And I'm going to add to Okay. okay, now I got all the um, pieces uh, glued on to the uh, corners of the plastic window that I'm going to put on the stroller, and uh, we'll get on to the next uh, step. Okay, so now what I'm doing is taking these little Velcro pieces that are sticky backs and I am putting them on here. Okay, I'm placing them all around the square, more down on the bottom so that when I'm done, I can roll the window down and uh, <clears throat> Put this little fastener on and fasten it open in the summer and I cut the fastener off of the other umbrella and I'll attach that on okay so just place and you can attach yours however you want I'm just doing this this way uh, just make sure on this plastic piece they stick really well. They don't stick too well to the the green part, I guess. Uh, okay, so that one can go there. And just push it down. I'm going to end up uh, either fabric fusing or actually sewing these down because these are going to be, you know, pulling and peeling them off a lot, you know, and when I'm using it. So. I just want to make sure that these are attached real well so when I use it, I don't ruin it. Okay? I put one, two, three, four, five down here, one on each of the side, and then three up here so that when it rains, I was going to put this underneath, but I figured when it rains, I want the rain to roll off. And I want it to be kind of tight, you know, when it rolls off. So anyways, that's there. And I'll, when I'm done, I'll show you. So here it is done. Here's the little flap. I just tucked it under, uh, glued it tack down. And uh, then it flips up and goes around the top. And here it is from the side view. And here's the top view of it. 
maybe people like the look of it. Maybe they don't, but uh, <clears throat> it just makes for, you know, if you already have a stroller and that way you don't have to go out and buy another one, you can just add a window to it. And then when it's really nice out, you can just um, roll the little window back and um, flip a blanket over it so you can just peek down at whoever's in the stroller. All right, hope you enjoyed. Have an awesome day, weekend, whatever it is. Bye-bye.